Hello everybody. Some people say I look like Eddie Money. Some people say I look like a lot of money. Some people say I am one of a kind. Some people say I'm out of my mind. Some people say, hey, where'd you get those glasses? Did you pay a, a thousand dollars for them at a, you know, expensive store next to the Ritz Carlton Hotel or the Marriott World Center Hotel at Orlando, Florida, which you just stayed at? Is that where you got those glasses from? And I smack them in the face and I say, no, dummy, I got these glasses. I got them from a movie. I went to a movie. When I go to 3D movies, people say, why do you go to 3D movies so much? Because you like 3D? No, I go to 3D movies because I keep the glasses. Yeah, I keep the glasses. You see these? These are 3D glasses, folks. 3D glasses. They're 3D and they're also free for me. <laughs> you know, people say, you know, you got quite the getup. You got quite the look. And I say, thank you. I used to draw in a lot of coloring books. I used to make mazes for people in class. Yes, people might be studying or doing their homework. But guess what I was doing? I was drawing mazes. That's right. A little maze here. A little maze there. A little maze everywhere. People might be like, well, why didn't you just buy a book of mazes? Well, guess what? I did buy books of mazes. And I beat them all. A to Z. Z to three, I beat them all, like a drummer boy on a drum, or a stupid nutcracker. Why do people buy those nutcracker things? Oh, look it, we're at a store, it's Christmas time, oh, let's buy a nutcracker. What are you going to do? You're going to crack some nuts, or you're just going to put it on your mantle and let the dog knock it over and smash it into a million freaking pieces? Nutcrackers are no good in my book, all right? No good, but 3D glasses that you wear for free... Uh, okay, in my book. And if you want to go to a 3D movie and keep the glasses, you got to keep it on the DL. I'm going to tell you my little strategy that I do, okay? What I do is, I usually go with a companion. I'm not some kind of weirdo that lives in his basement and goes to movies by himself. No, okay? No. First part true, second part false. So what I do is, I go with a companion. And when I say companion, I usually mean somebody that has no friends, or somebody that's half blind. Now, now, not to pick on the blind people, but they're easier to get to go with because you just say, hey, I look good, I look really good. And they say, okay, and then you bring them along. Now, we go to a movie, say, X-Men, Days of Future Past. Say, Santa Claus 5. Say, Jumanji, 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 it's the French, French version, Jumanji 2.0. We go to that, okay? Not the one with The Rock, not the new, oh, The Rock's in Jumanji. Shut the f up, all right? The Rock in Jumanji. The Rock is no Robin Williams. That's all I'm going to say, folks. The Rock is no Robin freaking Williams. That's all I'm going to say. Now, what you do is you go with a companion to a 3D movie, and this is how you get away with a free pair. A free pair, that's right, a free, a free, freaking free, a freaking free pair of glasses, okay? Yes, this is how you do it. You go with a companion, and when the movie ends, you take your companion's glasses, and you take your glasses, you put your glasses, do a little sleeve trick. You see that? Right there. Right there, right there, oh, there we go. Right there, and you just slip the glasses down into your sleeve, just like that. Real simple. It's basic magic, folks. If you haven't seen the LME video, stands for Learn Magic Easily. I did that about 20 years ago. If you haven't seen that video, then maybe you all know what I'm talking about. But sleeve tricks are one of the basic, most amateur forms of magic. Sleeve tricks. Real simple, folks. You get the glasses, slip them down into your sleeve. People say, oh, why do you always have sweatshirts on and long sleeve shirts? Is it because I like to stay warm? No, it's because I do sleeve magic, okay? It's also good for stealing stuff, okay? Stealing stuff, yes, I use sleeve magic tricks for stealing stuff from FYE at the mall, and then the big lady that works there chases me out of the store. Did it happen? Maybe. Did it happen? Yes, it did. Is it a long story? Yes, it is. Is it a funny story? Yes, it is. Maybe I'll tell you on another video. Comment, subscribe, do what you do. Folks, I'm not going to pressure you into doing anything, okay? So, sleeve trick down in, okay? Now, your companion, it's got to be sly. 
can't have a big companion, if you know what I mean. It's got to be a sly companion. So when you're walking out, you take your companion's glasses. And your companion's like, going over behind you, acting real sly. And when the guy's there, like, do you have your 3D glasses that you can return to the 3D glasses bin? Yeah, take your 3D glasses and you slap them in the face. I'm kidding, folks. <laughs> I don't promote violence. You take your companion's 3D glasses because your 3D glasses are in your sleeve. Shh. And you throw your companion's 3D glasses into the bin. And then you promptly exit the theater. Now, if you look behind you and you, you're like, oh, where's my companion? Well, guess what happened? The man asked your, your companion for her 3D glasses or him. I don't judge. And... They don't have any because you had them, so guess what? They get arrested, they go to jail. But that's why you always go to the movies with a companion you don't really care about, okay? Don't go to a 3D movie if you plan on keeping the glasses with your mom's, not mom's, mom's, mom, mom's, okay? You don't, you don't. You go with, you know, your friend's mom's, 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 okay? Keep it, keep it at a right angle. Don't bring those parallel hooks in and try to destroy the whole world, folks. Don't try to do it. Okay, but let's get serious for a moment. Let's get serious. Look at all these artifacts. If you're like, whoa, what are you, living in a museum? I'll be like, no, it's just my basement. But, uh, you know, I could open up a museum if I wanted to. I could. I could do a lot of things, folks. I could. I could. I could dazzle. I could razzle. I could dazzle. I could, I could NBA jam right on your face. NBA jam right on you. Jam right on boom shaka laka 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 But folks, let's get serious for a moment, okay? Cause I, I, I joke around, right? It's a oh it's a big joke. It's all a big joke. No, it's it gets serious. Okay, life is serious. Okay, folks? Life is serious. Some lawyers won't show up to court unless you give them a thousand dollars. Not gonna name names, but I've heard it on the phone. Now, let's get serious, folks. Let's get serious. Sometimes your back itches, and you gotta be able to stretch way back there and itch your back. Now, if you eat a lot of Cheez-Its and you put butter on them and put it in the microwave, you might not be able to itch your back without using a back scratcher. Now, granted, I'm in the basement. There's plenty of things I can use for a back scratcher. You know what I mean? For instance... Pool cues, pool cues that have cobwebs on them. They make great back scratchers. Great, great back scratchers. Now, do I play pool with these? No, I don't. But do I have an itchy back? No, I don't. Okay, folks, that's the way it works down here in the basement. That's the way it works. These have been down here since 1843. You might be like, oh, they the pilgrim, pilgrims used to play pool? Yeah, you're damn right they did. How do you think they, they first, the pilgrims and the Indians first started to mingle. You think it was just like, oh, let's have a feast. And Squanto is throwing corn at a pilgrim's face. No, that's not how it happened. Play a little pool. That's right. They put the pool cues on their shoulder. And they, they hit some balls. They played a little pool, folks. That's how Squanto and the pilgrims... How come the Native Americans have names, but the pilgrims don't have names? Oh, we got Columbus. Was he a pilgrim? I don't know, folks. I'm not a history major. All right, I didn't, you know... I didn't pay attention, all right? Too busy drawing mazes. Too busy taking 3D glasses and using them as my own stylish glasses because I'm a stylish individual, all right? Very stylish, very stylish. One time I was in school, stepped on a girl's shoes. She's like, why are you stepping on my kicks? And I was like, whoa. She wanted to fight me. And I was like, whoa. But you know, some people like their shoes. Me, I don't like my shoes, but I do like my glasses. Right? And I like free stuff. Some people like to pay $200, $200 for a pair of shoes. Some people do. I, I don't like to pay shit. Shh, shit, 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 shit. I said shit. I didn't swear. I said shit. I don't like to pay shit. Shit. It's a Jewish word meaning nada. So, folks, thank you for watching. Tomorrow's another video, another day. Hey, what can I say? I'm a great guy, and that's just how I am. I mean, people ask me all the time, how come you're such a great guy? I'm like, hey, listen. Some people are born good, some people are born bad, some people are born great. I 
happen to be above them all. So thank you for watching. Tomorrow's another video. Stay tuned for more, more of this, more of that. And we might put on another hat. But remember, free 3D glasses. You go to a movie theater, pick them up today.